This is not how I wanted to start my video. Today is Sunday, November 19. I have prepared my text, my shoots, uh, but the thing is that today in the morning I have received the video from our volunteers, Siberia. All links are in the description. And then my video will start. Russian news outlets have been reporting resolutely about the previous weather storm in Siberia. Now everything has seemingly calmed down and only the ones who've been there will silently think of the people lost of the catastrophe and deal with the cows left behind. Some cry out for help in hopes of it being given, and some are wagging their tails, believing and waiting for those who will definitely not abandon them. A dog's trust in man is boundless. A person doesn't need to prove something to his good-natured friend or explain. In his eyes, a person is not just a master, but a reliable ally who appreciates every moment and shares joys and sorrows. The dog feels emotions as if reading the human soul without unnecessary words. In his mutual understanding and quiet harmony hides something special, a unique bond that makes life richer and more meaningful. Hi, this is Ki and I'm Gera. I'm sharing some very, very good news. In a past video I showed a dog living in a driveway and looking for owners. And what do you think? Acts of kindness and those who give freely in our world exist and are here. Uh, the dog has already been taken and now he has a home and his name is Danny. I would like to end my video on this positive note, but in Instagram I already introduced a dog who is eagerly waiting for his forever reliable person and promised to tell his story. Meet Archie. I'll make a disclaimer right off the bat. All the dogs you see in this video were sent to me by volunteer girls from Siberia. It's not an official animal shelter. They are just people who got together and try to help homeless animals. Link to their social network is in the description. So, Archie. The little homeless puppy was run over by a car in the spring. We will not talk about the car and those who sat in it. They are not worthy of it. Kind people picked up the dog and took him to the hospital, where he was operated and put four plates in his paws. Now it's a strong, kind and playful dog. He is being kept in a foster home. The most important thing is that because of the metal plates in his paws, Archie cannot live outside in an aviary. He needs a warm home. We don't have much time. We are counting on you, our viewers. And remember, any decision should be made on a cold head, without emotions. Although I tried to keep a balance, one of the emotions didn't deceive me, and I met the girls. I started this video with the word trust. I suggest you go back to it. First of all, I am very grateful to the girls from Siberia 
Sveta, Aliona, and Oksana, who helped homeless dogs. I reached out to them completely spontaneously. I don't really watch TikTok or Instagram. I used to post videos and that was it. I came across the girl's video when I was posting another clip about Runa. In it, the volunteers were rescuing a dog from an animal abuser. Her name is Bella. I messaged them right away and they replied very quickly. We began to correspond and the girls told me about themselves. They really exist and really help dogs. And now we have done a few videos together. At that point, I have never done anything like that. I thought, we'll message everyone, we'll tell everyone, because there are so many different channels on YouTube dealing with homeless animals. And I tried. I reached out to several channels on YouTube, I watch their videos, they all deal with dogs. I like those channels a lot. And I know a lot of them help shelters. But I came across the fact that apparently those guys have already helped someone through the internet. And they were taken advantage of. Apparently, uh, there was some bad situation and now uh, they are hesitant to help so openly. I will not name this channel. I have no such right. I just hope that uh, they watch us and realize that we are real and we really help dogs too. Then I decided to write to those who are in need, in my opinion. I'm more careful now about who post what. My children also said to me, Mom, what are you doing? What if they are scammers? As Runa says, other people. And oh, what do you think? They are afraid to trust too. Apparently, they have been in a bad situation too. I contacted a few volunteers and they honestly admitted that they had already trusted, tried to cooperate and nothing good came out of it. I don't like to talk about something bad on my channel, but as it is, nothing can be done. We all need to become kinder. And a dog just trust blindly recklessly and without asking for anything in return. Are there truly more people like the ones who hit Archie with their car than us who are willing to help? My husband and I believe, and I think many will agree, that competition can't be healthy. My husband is a businessman and business is competition at its peak but it doesn't save the day. Cooperation and balance is the only way to stand firm. How to achieve this is where philosophy comes into its own. Lots of discussions, lots of advice, different methods. And maybe to starters we should just stop and remember the word enough. Thank you for your time. See you. Вот такое последствие урагана в нашей Кемеровской области. Часть сторона забора полностью вся упала. Мужчин у нас ни одного не отозвалось на помощь. Сейчас мы откручиваем как можем. Сами нам надо открутить будку, может быть. Света сказала восстановлению может будка еще быть. Скорее всего, будку восстановим. Вот, но две будки в невгодности, ребят, поэтому помощь нужна любая. Сейчас будем открывать сбор на ремонт забора. Работа эта не дешевая. Поэтому вот такие вот у нас дела. Пока Света тут занимается строительными работами, я быстренько кормлю собачек.